Hello friends. Today I took a spring walk and came home from my walk and thought I'm going to write a story today about what I think I like about spring. Today's writing will be showing an opinion of something that we have. An opinion is when you think about a topic or a subject and you think, how do you feel about that? And you can draw and write about that. And that's what I'm going to do today for today's writing lesson. So the first thing I need to do is I need to gather my tools. So I grabbed my crayons and um, I grabbed some different things to write on. I have some notebooks that I could write on. I have a different kind of notebook that I could write in. And I thought today, you know, I'm going to use paper. I'm just gonna use paper that I have lying around. So I grabbed some different pieces of paper and I'm going to use my white paper today to write my opinion um, about spring. So let me show you my screen. As I get set up, I will show you my screen. And there it is. Let me just slide this over so you can see it a little bit better because I would like you to see my picture that I'm going to draw today for spring. So here's my white paper. I'm going to draw a spring picture. And like I said earlier, I went on a spring walk. And while I was on my walk today, I took some pictures of some things that I saw outside that were really great sights or pictures of spring. So my first picture that I took is a picture of some flowers. And it's a picture of some red flowers. Let's see if I can get that a little bit better for you to take a look at. And then I took a picture of some blue flowers. I take a picture of a tree. It's a really pretty tree. It's, it's pink and white. And I took a picture of some white flowers and some more pink flowers and they're growing like in a bush. So outside in New York, Pennsylvania right now, we have a lot of things that we can see that are great signs of spring. We have some spring sports that kids like to play or adults like to play. We have some spring animals that we see very active because it's nice and the weather has gotten really pleasant outside. And then of course we have different things that are growing that show that spring is in the air. So for today, I'm going to draw a picture of something that I like to see in the spring because that's my opinion. Your opinion is when you have something that you really care about or when you have some strong thoughts about something. So here's my white paper. I've got my crayons here. I'm going to draw a picture showing um, what I like to see in the spring. And I'm gonna start with the green grass because boy oh day, the green grass is really growing because it's been sunny. We have some sprinkles of raindrops every now and again. That really makes things grow and bloom. So we have a lot of pretty green grass in our neighborhoods. I also like to see the flowers blooming. And one of my favorite flowers that I like to see blooming, they're called tulips. You might have a favorite flower that you like to see blooming and you can think what that is. Think what is your favorite sign or your favorite sight that you like to see in the spring? Spring has so many pretty colors all around in the outdoors because things are growing and they just are very colorful and it's showing that our world is really um, coming back to being nice and warm outside and people like to be outside and spend time outside playing and doing different activities. I love to draw. 
So I want to add a couple more details to my picture. When I went on my walk, the sun was shining and there were a few clouds in the sky, but just a few clouds just to make the sky look pretty and interesting. So this is my favorite site for spring. So I'm going to write about my picture. And when we have kid writing class and writing workshop time, we always draw our picture first. And we think about what words we're going to write that will focus and connect to our picture. So I want to write today that my favorite site in the spring is seeing the spring flowers. So to save paper, I'm going to use the same paper, but I'm going to flip it over. And now I'm going to give myself some lines so that when I'm writing today, my words and my letters stay organized and they stay a little easier to be read. I don't have any lines on my paper, so I'm going to grab another crayon and I'm going to give myself some lines and I'm just going to draw lines across my paper. And as I draw lines across my paper, it'll just make it that I can write a little neater and I can be a little more organized with my writing. You might need help from a, a, an older person or someone in your family that can help make lines for you or draw lines for you. But some of you can do that all by yourself independently. So my story is going to be about spring. And I'm going to write, I like spring. So my first word is going to be the word I. And we know the word I because we're all smart in kindergarten. Think about the word I and write it. I, finger space, like, ooh, I, Spring. Spring. The king of ing. I like spring. I like spring. I'm going to put my period here. Mm -hmm. I like spring. Now I'm going to write why I like spring. I like spring. My, my, that's one of our kindergarten words, space, my favorite, favorite, here's that T, that N sound, my favorite spring, Ing, the king of ing. My favorite spring. My favorite spring sight. Sight. My favorite spring sight space is the whiz of is. It's one of our kindergarten words is my favorite spring site is flowers. Full hours. There's my end mark, my period. I like spring. My favorite spring site is flowers. That's today's writing. Think what you like about spring. I want you to draw a picture that shows your favorite thing to see in the spring and then write about it. Remember to sound out your words when you're writing. Remember to reread your story when you're finished and check your words and check that you have end marks at the end of your sentences. I know you'll do a great job. Go have some fun. Go draw your picture. We hope to see it soon.